Hello everybody, Richard Gabner here. I'm going to do a quick video here to help the Atari 7800 junkie out. Um, he's trying to load emulators onto his Xbox and it can be done without having to FTP him into the Xbox and the way it's done is you burn the ROM, or ROM folders over to a DVD. You can try a CD, however, some of the Xboxes, most Xboxes won't read CDs. They only read DVDs. So you burn them over to a DVD minus R, and uh, like I did here, and I'm gonna boot my Xbox up. There's my little one. Boot my Xbox up here. Oh, it died. No, it hasn't died. It's okay. Why? Yep, that's light shows that work, honey. Oh. Oh, yeah. What's that? It's a TV. No, it's that. <coughs> so, when you put the disc in, it immediately boots up. That's how it's set up. It immediately starts a disc. And, of course, it's just on your left side here is a list of all your ROMs. On the right-hand side, or not, or not, correction, not ROM. Honey, you gotta move. Okay. Is it, not all the ROMs, but um, all the emulators. And of course, there are ROMs inside these emulator files, oh. folders. But uh, anyway, this is what I have here. I got the 2600 and 7800. I got a whole bunch of them on this, this DVD here that I've created. And what you wanna do is you wanna hit your right trigger button. That's the left trigger button is your CD. The right trigger button is a list of your uh, your hard drive. So there's your C drive, your D drive, your E drive, your F drive, X, Y, Z. Of course, never mess with X, Y, Z. Now, Atari 7800 Junkie, I don't know if you have a larger drive, hard drive in yours or not, which your brother did for you. Um, if you don't, you probably don't C drive F. So I'm gonna use drive F for this purpose, but if you don't, use drive E, because drive E is what you'll be using. So what you do is you'll, you'll go down, you'll highlight drive F, you'll click on it, you'll go down, you'll see another file folder over here that says emulators. You click on that. Then what you're gonna do, is this is, of course is everything I already have installed on mine. You ain't gonna see that on yours probably, except for the few of the emulators you do have. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go over and you're going to hit your left trigger. That will bring you back to this menu on your left hand side. At this point what you're going to do is, let's say you want to copy the Atari 2600 folder over, over to um, that directory there, or over to uh, your hard drive. You're going to hit the, highlight your Atari 2600, you're going to hit the white button on your controller. It brings up another menu. Go down, click copy. It's gonna take a few minutes. It's gonna give you this message here, preparing to copy files, do not turn off your Xbox, it's checking it. Um, at this point, what it's gonna do, it's gonna say prepare to copy, or right, when it's done here, prepare to copy, and do you wanna continue copying? Um, right here, it says you're about to copy 1,187 files and 54 folders totaling 10,228.04 kilobyte. Do I want to copy it? I click OK here. I already have the 2600 folder, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so I'm just going to cancel it. What you would do is you would click OK. And what it'll do at that point, it will copy them over. And you know really guys, it's as simple as that. There's nothing else to it. So I hope I helped some people out, Atari Junk, Atari Now, Atari 7800 Junk. Yeah, I hope that really helped you out. And uh, if you have any questions, guys, and especially Atari 7800 Junkie, feel free to message me, and I'll see if I can help you further. That being said, guys, uh, have a great day.